Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiversal video, and oh my god, that Steven Universe episode though, I get a lot of people are talking about it right now, but it's for great reason, because it was a damn good episode. We got to see a lot of things and get a lot of questions answered that we had from the very beginning, and it was crazy. And I'll admit, the pacing was a little fast, and I kind of wish that they, they broke it up into more, but given the fact that we don't already don't get a lot of Steven, Use con Steven Universe, <laughs> I can't speak, Steven Universe content as it is, I, I'm happy with everything we got, because it covered a lot of bases, and in a way that even though it was rushed, it fit and it felt like it was supposed to be part of the story. Like, the, for the fact that we got to see a gem fight, we got to see all of the fusions, we got to see how how uh, yellow and blue reacted and, and how they used to be, you know? It was crazy, all the information that we got. Um, obviously, I'm drawing one of the fusions. Um, I'm gonna be real with you, I didn't really like the way that Sunstone looked. Um, I don't know why, I just wasn't super happy with her design. But then that got me thinking, I was like, hello, what would Rose Quartz look like with Sunstone? Because we, we haven't, we haven't seen Rose Quartz for, uh, fuse with anybody else except for Pearl, and that made, um, Rainbow Quartz. But that was at the very beginning of the show, and it didn't really give us anything with Amethyst or with Garnet. And so, I, and I mean, based on the way that the gems look now, the fusions that they have now, I was able to kind of like figure this one out. So I hope you guys like it. It's a fusion of Sunstone, but with Rose Quartz instead of Steven. Also, the scene where um, Gem Steven shouts, She's gone. <laughs> to White Diamond after White Diamond is demanding to know where Pink Diamond is. That. That gave me hella goosebumps, dude. That was so good because you've never you've never seen Steven be aggressive. And I think that was something that somebody on Tumblr pointed out was that the gem Steven happens to just like he he doesn't have empathy. He is the base idea without any fun. Like you saw his shield. His shield was kind of it didn't have the design on it, it was just crystals. Whereas with Steven, it becomes the nice beautiful rose quartz uh, shield that we see. So I think Steven puts a lot of personality into the gem and the gem gives He's just like raw power, bro. He he can go Super Saiyan on everybody. He's raw power But it was so cool to see that because he He was so angry about people constantly thinking that he was pink That he finally was just like, you know what? Screw it. She's gone and like shouts at everybody and like hurts them and it was, it was so rad I do wish that they had given us a little more fight scenes, but like really good fight scenes, because that's not something that Steven Universe is really good at. Um, I do wish that they would animate more fight scenes, sort of like, <laughs> and I know I'm a little bit of a, uh, like a nerd for saying this, but I do hope for anime, anime fight scenes sometimes, like on the level of anime, not that they have to look like anime. Oh my god, that would not be good. Steven Universe has his own style, please don't make it anime. But I was hoping that they would do some anime fights because anime fights are always pretty drawn out and look cool. But the fact that they're drawn out gives them a lot of time to look good, you know? Like, if you watch any Naruto fight, you're like, wow, okay, I'm into that. And you're just, you know, happy with it because they're doing all these cool moves, the animation is pretty cool, you realize that their strength, you realize what their strength is based on how they fight. And that's just something I wish that Steven Universe would do since it's so heavily, like, um, used to anime, and I and I read somewhere that um, Peridot's design was actually based on a Gurren Lagann character. Forget which one that is exactly, but you know I know it is one. But I do wish that they would do that. Another thing was that um, I really liked that White Diamond was so unwilling to listen because most of the most of the enemies that Steven has come across, he's just been able to talk them through, and they're just like. How do I explain this? Most of the people that he talks to, they just automatically are like, oh, you're speaking to me? Okay, I will listen. But the way that he did it with White Diamond was just embarrassing her. That's literally it. He embarrassed her, she he she blushed, and I think it was different because she wasn't gonna listen to him otherwise. Obviously, he she kept like trying to kill his friends. Not kill him, but like erase the imperfections out of them. And so he, she wasn't willing to listen until he embarrassed her, and that was great. Um, tell me what you guys thought of the Steven Universe episode. What was your guys' favorite part about 
this episode. I know a lot of people have a lot of things to say. It was such a great episode. Uh, who was your favorite fusion? What was your favorite part? You know, th- there's a lot to discuss about the Steven Universe episode. And I'm not I'm not a discussion YouTube, but why not start the discussion? Because it's it was a damn good episode. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want to see me draw something else, put it down in the comment section below. And thank you guys. Bye. Love you. Mwah. It's better not to talk at all.